Hello YouTube and welcome to another review and this time we have Bannister Tarleton, the Green Dragoon um, from uh, the American Revolution, William Britons um, and this guy has a bit of history um, in America his notable um, battle was the Battle of Waxhaws where allegedly he killed American um, soldiers who were surrendering um, in Britain we don't sort of dwell on that we don't disagree with what was said but he is a bit of a hero of ours uh, mainly because his bravery uh, even the Americans will agree was pretty exceptional and um, he was a very very good soldier came unstuck at the end um, losing um, Oh, what was it? Was it cow pens? I think it was um, cow pens he lost. Worked his soldiers too hard, drove them for days trying to catch the Americans, and by the time they got there, they were absolutely knackered. And um, the American general, I can't remember his name now, um, did an exceptional job um, and pretty much stopped Tarleton in his tracks and destroyed the entire unit. Um, he was scattered, and pretty much Tarleton was, was pretty much finished after that. Um, this piece um, isn't great, I have to say. This is one of the older pieces. It's probably around about 2000. Let's have a check on the base. Uh, yeah, 2002. Um, Britain's wasn't that great around about that period. Um, detailing isn't particularly great, and he does look short. Um, if I compare him with another piece. When I put the piece together, they actually look relatively about the same size, but might be because he's leaning forward, so he's probably not the best choice. Um, but general appearance just never looks right with those earlier ones. Um, and obviously, the detail is just not really so good. Um, dear me. Scabbard. I mean, I wouldn't even say the sword's great. Probably not after I've just dropped it. Um, but where was it I was going to show you? Just the paintwork near his leg. I mean, it's very heavy. Um, and it's actually taken up most of his leg. Um, you know, it's just a bit heavy. And it's not great. Um, it actually looks better from the back. <laughs> Um, got nice creases in his trousers and his jacket, so they've done a pretty good job there. Um, the base, it does stand very well, um, no problem there. And the face, there is a passing amount of detail there, but I wouldn't go nuts. And he's got his um, helmet, which was quite infamous with Banster Tarleton at the time, and um, his regiment was. Um, Okay. First Dragoons, uh, yeah, First Dragoons. There wasn't many British cavalry regiments in the Revolution. His was one of the only ones. Probably the other ones were um, basically um, raised regiments um, from the Americas. Um, so, you know, cavalry, British cavalry was very rare. Um, but certainly he did really terrorise the Americans when, when they used to see him on the field. Um, there was, and I think the Americans are right, there was no quarter given really. Um, but quite a dashing gentleman in his day. But, you know, in terms of the quality of the piece itself, not great. So I'm not going to dwell on this one too much. It does need another one. Um, and whether or not they'll do that, I don't know. I think there's a mounted tarlatan, but I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, I've got two of these, so uh, I know I dropped it earlier. <laughs> it's not really going to matter. Um, but yeah. So um, historically, a very interesting character. Figure-wise, not so great. He's not one of my favourites, but it is Bannister Tarleton, who, you know, I do admire. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, this one you can pick up, by the way, for not a lot. He does float around. You'll probably get him for about £14, £15. Pounds. Um, on the horse he'd be a bit more but um, no um, thanks for watching and um, I'll try and get another review on now actually thank you bye